So I'm doing the uh, Patagonia trek next November for Valindra Cancer Centre with Shane Williams. So it's my first blog. I thought I'd log it and uh, you know keep a record really of uh, how it's going to go. It's a bit of a challenge. It's 11 days, up to 11 hours a day trekking. So I need to get into shape, even though it's only January and. Uh, it's a good challenge and obviously raising money as well for a very worthy cause, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, this is the first blog, I've just ended, I've just finished my last session of the first four week block, uh, as you can see. Uh, here at David Lloyd Gym in Bristol before we go to Cornish Pirates today. Um, and at the end of the four week block I thought I'd do a little bit of a blog, so I started on January the 1st as most people do when they try to get into shape. and. Uh, my goal for the first four weeks was to, to, to get strong, lose some weight, lose some body fat, uh, improve my diet and I uh, managed to do that. I lost six kilograms uh, in weight but I have to stay strong as well. So Mark Bennett, former Wales Head of Conditioning, has given me a, a weights program. I'm doing four weight sessions a week to keep strong. Um, I'll log them in the blog as well, what I'm doing. And I'm trying to do three to four walks of about 45 minutes to 60 minutes. Um, many of them weighted backpack. I'm up to eight and a half kilos on my back, which is like having an extra stone or so on your weight, uh, on your back. Uh, and then one long run at the moment as well. Uh, I've done like 10k around my home village, uh, recorded it and try and beat that time uh, every every week or fortnight. So here we go. Um, coupled with that, Father Christmas brought me a Nutribullet, so as you'll see in the blog. I'm getting stuck into that. Uh, it's important that nutrition is, is spot on when you're training hard and uh, even though I've got a long, long way to go, uh, it's important to get a, a healthy routine and that Nutribullet is fantastic. Getting stuck into some recipes and uh, some healthy eating. And I, I'll post them on this blog as well, as much as I can. Um, as far as the fundraising goes, well, obviously, uh, Valindra Cancer Centre is an extremely worthy cause and uh, looking forward to the little man. Coming home in uh, mid-February, possibly do some training with him. I've got to get fit if he's going to be doing it. Uh, but uh, the good news is that Julian Lewis Jones, aka Crazy Carl from Stella, uh, is joining us on our trip as well, and um, that's coupled with the other the other trek trip, which has Rod Gilbert and um, Derek the Weatherman, and of course the Manic Street Preachers on that one. So uh, we should have some fun along the way as well. As for other fundraising, um, I have a couple of dinners uh, and events. I try to get the Bristol boys on a predictions for the Six Nations, so I'll be rallying them on the bus today on the way down to Cornish Pirates, I'll, I'll get some pictures of that as well, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it, so uh, I'll, I'll keep this blog going, I'll try and do it fortnightly or every four week block, the goal for my next four weeks, as you can see, uh, typical coach keeping logs and goals of everything, um, is to shorten my weight sessions, make them heavier, um, slightly longer walks with more hills, and my cardio stuff will be repeats and intervals um, just to step it up a little bit so uh, I'll post the just give insight that if you want to donate to the to Valindra charity you can um, or if you just um, want to follow me on Twitter or on this website just uh, for the fun of it or if you've got any questions drop me an email on the contact uh, tab at the top um, about uh, how I'm going about it and if you want to join in any of the walks or any of the training I'm doing be uh, more than happy to have you along bye for now